what's going on guys it's gbp baby welcome back to another video hope everybody's doing well and let's get straight into the daily review so we are going to start on dollar and you can see that we're already starting to push aggressively higher we ran out the buy side liquidity that i had targeted in our weekly review and you can see we're starting to trade into this massive weekly imbalance now i was saying in yesterday's video how i anticipate price to want to seek to fill this imbalance so i do still anticipate that meaning that i'd like to see a continuation to the upside but you'll see that I've also marked out the low of this bearish order block. The reason I've marked that out is because when price trades up into that, I'd expect to see a nice reaction. So the fact that we're rallying so early on in the week, as in we've, we've had this large expansion on the Monday, we can start to anticipate some kind of midweek reversal happening on the Wednesday or Thursday. So um, I am going to drop down to the low time frame now, but I just wanted to let us know that this level here is actually the midpoint of this weekly imbalance. And then you can see this buy side has now been tagged. Let's just see. So now we know that this buy side liquidity has been grabbed. We traded to the 50% level of the weekly imbalance. And now I'm anticipating price to trade up into this weekly bearish order block for us to, to get a reversal. So now let's go to the daily. And you'll see we've had quite a strong up day today. Again, opening, trading aggressively, aggressively higher, running into buy side liquidity here and running into these stops, which I was calling out in yesterday's video. And you can see we're edging again towards that weekly bearish order block low. So that's definitely still what I have my eye set on. So in terms of tomorrow, I do expect um, a continuation to the upside. We don't have any news, so it might be quite a slow, um, potentially consolidated movement up. But overall, I would like to think that price can work its way into this um, weekly bearish order block that's delineated in red. So let's go down to the four hour just to get a better look. You can see we've pretty much had um, a full day of just up close candles kind of coming into a slight consolidation now but if we're anticipating this to be the high then you know we can anticipate another run i like to think that we can find support on this midpoint for that to then propel price into that bearish order block now let's go to the one hour just to get a better look again kind of consolidated and i'm just going to mark out the daily dividers and again moving into the new day i'd like to think that we can continue to find support on these bullish order blocks you can see how we're respecting them for us to push higher so what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw out this hourly bullish order block right into the new day and then i'd like to see how price treats it because so long as we're bullish as in so long as price is to move higher we should be we should continue to respect these bullish order blocks for the price to move higher let's go to the 15 minute again you can just see we're constantly consolidating here we could come back down into this bullish order block which is fine especially with the asian range that still needs to form but other than that i am anticipating a continuation to the upside for us to hit terminus at this weekly bearish order block before seeing some kind of reversal or turn in the market so that's all i'm going to leave on my charts for the new day now let's go to gbp so gbp you can see again gbp's moved quite aggressively lower we're running towards these relative equal lows that i delineated again in yesterday's video so i'm anticipating the same thing but obviously inverted i'd like to think that we can reach some kind of terminus on the south side and then a midweek reversal to trade higher so let's just get these marked out. We have this sell side liquidity down here that I believe will get targeted tomorrow and Wednesday, running into Wednesday. We still have this fair value gap below here, which price may seek to trade into. Now this is quite low. And, and, and like I said, if depending on how weak pound is, um, is gonna make a difference as to whether we do reach and trade into this fair value gap. I would like to see it get traded to, however. But one thing to take note of is these wicks here. So you can see how these wicks, this range basically from this high to this low, that's a range in itself. So price could very well stop at the midpoint of here. So I am gonna get that level marked out for us as well, just because that is an, another potential turning point. So depending on where dollar is, when we get down to these levels, we'll know whether we should anticipate a turnaround or whether it's likely just going to come and fill this imbalance. So let's just get that midpoint drawn out. And when we drop to the low time frame, we should be able to get a better look at what that is. I do believe there should be an order block there. Now let's drop down to the daily and see what we can find. So again, sell side liquidity with these relative equal lows. We did trade just slightly into the wick off Thursday before moving lower pretty, pretty much all day. I'd like to think pretty much the same price action will happen. We'll see a slight high made, maybe in the London session or just as the midnight opens. And then I'd like to think that we can move lower, running towards this level here and this uh, weekly imbalance. Now you'll see that this level which I marked out from the weekly actually lines up with the consequent encroachment of this long wick here. So you see how the consequent encroachment of this wick it lines up with the um, dash level I showed us on the weekly. So I do see this as a target as to where price may want to reverse or find some kind of support once it takes out this south side liquidity. Again, it can, weaken, it can reach into this weekly imbalance, but it's very possible it may want to stop here depending on what dollar is doing. 
So that's definitely a level to keep your eyes set on. I'm not going to bother mark that out because it's pretty much the same level. And another thing to take note of is this wick is actually covering a fair value gap as well. So this is the fair value gap. So again, price may seek to fill that. And as it's doing that, it's also trading into that um, midpoint level that I'd marked out. So we can get that drawn out. We'll make it a nice light blue. Right, so let's go, to, let's go to the four hour. Again, you can see price down candles pretty much all day. We traded up into this bearish order block. And then from then on, we've just been expanding lower. Again, I, I, I anticipate a continuation to the downside as, as the new day starts because we still haven't finished. We haven't delivered basically. So price hasn't reached its terminus and we, we are anticipating this to be its terminus. So we should continue to stay bearish. In terms of tomorrow's price action, again, we're kind of consolidated. Price may want to return back to this bearish order block. This should propel price lower. And we do have some relative equal lows forming on the relative equal highs forming on the 15 minute. So I'll show you what I mean. We have some buy side liquidity residing up here, very short term. And then we also have that hourly bearish order block. We also have that an hourly bearish order block right here that price may trade into and find resistance at resistance at. Remember, so long as we are bearish on price, price should respect the bearish order block. So yes, we can trade up into this fair value gap, which is fine, but we should find resistance at that level to push lower and run for that sell side liquidity and into this fair value gap I was just speaking about. So that's going to be everything on pound. Now let's go over to euro. So we'll start on the weekly and you'll see again how price is pretty much opened, trading lower, running towards sell stops below here. We haven't quite taken out the sell side liquidity yet. So price is likely going to want to do that tomorrow. We do have this bullish order block right here that price is going to want to trade into as well. What I am going to do is I want to mark out I do want to bring our attention to the rejection block level here as price may want to stop there and you'll see as well the midpoint of this pair, of this order block so let's get the order block midpoint marked out first this is the mean threshold and again price should if this bullish order block is going to continue to provide, provide support as in if we're going to turn around within this order block the 50 percent level should be respected so that's why i'm marking that out here we'll make that red and we'll make it dashed so we've got the weekly mean threshold and then there's potential for us to trade into this rejection block level. But I'd, like I said, depending on how dollar's moving and whether we've reached terminus on dollar, price may simply want to turn around at this midpoint. Let's drop down to the daily to get a closer look. Again, we've now got relatively equal lows below this low and this low on the euro. And there's that midpoint, which also lines up with this daily bullish order block. So again, these levels we anticipate price to have a strong reaction off. And what was I saying? We should anticipate some kind of midweek reversal. Let's go to the four hour just to get a better look. We're kind of just consolidating a little bit. There's a nice fair value gap that lines up nicely with that midpoint. So what's that? An imbalance that price may seek to fill. We can drag that right out on the four hour and then we can drop down to the 15 minute like we did on pound and see, okay, where, where can we anticipate some kind of high to be made? Well, again, we have the relative equal highs forming above here. Let's see if there's any hourly PDA raise. We have this bearish order block on the hourly. And what should happen? This order block should be respected if we are to remain bearish. So as price trades into this bearish order block in the new day, we should start hunting for sales within this range for us to then reach down here. After it trades down here, like I said, we should see how price acts. We might get a little bit of consolidation, but overall I'd like to think that we can have a nice reversal for the midweek and then start looking for some kind of longs. But again, we're still very early in the week and we should definitely take that into consideration when taking our trades. So we'll drop down to the 15 minute just to get a better look. Again, relative equal highs, bearish order block. Price may want to trade into that maybe in the London session or even in the Asian session to create the high of the new day for us to then push lower and trade down into here. Another possibility, again, we might make the swing, trade lower during London, and then price may reverse during New York and run for the highs that it creates up here. So there's a lot of possibilities and outcomes, but overall, I do want to see a continuation to the downside with a slight dip into here first. So that's going to be everything, guys. I hope that was insightful. Please smash that subscribe button, drop a comment. I reply to all my comments and also join the Discord. I am going to be a lot more active in there. So yeah, that's everything, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.